hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in today's video we are going to talk about wipro elite hiring updates okay so i will be sharing some of the important hiring updates which are latest from wipro i will also be talking about assessment emails which are out from wipro and then we will also be discussing about exam pattern and what are the next step in the hiring process then also we will be talking about important documentation and exam day tips for all of you who are going to appear for your examination so make sure that you watch the video till complete and as there will be a lot of important information in this video for every one of you now guys before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful off campus updates as well as uh, hiring updates on my channel daily on daily basis guys and if someone is not aware i have a complete playlist on wipro on my channel you will find a lot of videos for prep, uh, practice preparations and previous year questions in this playlist so make sure to prepare from these videos now let's see first of all what we are going to talk about in today's video and then we will be going through each topic one by one first of all we are going to talk about the assessment out email some key points about it then we are going to talk about test time time slots and system requirement check complete examination pattern for 2025 section wise difficulties and cutoffs and must have documentation and exam ready tips then we will also be seeing the post assessment timeline then once you clear this what will be your next timelines okay so first of all let's start with the assessment email so guys wipro has started sending the assessment emails for elite 2024 or 2025 exclusive hiring mail subject is going to be like uh, greetings of the day online assessment schedule okay so your mail will subject with this and if someone of you who is waiting for your emails you can even do this thing that you can go to your email box try to search your email with this subject line okay and also make sure that you check your spam folders also because there is high chances that you might have received emails already for your examination and it will include your details like you know exam date which is going to be on 13th of july your unique test link and then strict note will be there that is do not forward this email something like that will be mentioned okay now talking about system check okay so you should have laptop or pc or with that only you can give and you should have windows 8 plus with stable broadband uh, you should have chrome or firefox latest version you should not have any vpn or anti uh, virus enabled because that might you know interrupt with your examination complete the system compatibility check uh, compatibility check at least 12 hours before your test it is very much important because we have seen previously also that candidates do not do the uh, system compatibility check and then they directly sit for examination and then they face uh, like you know problems or issues while giving the examination so if there is any issue that uh, is there or if something is blocking from you know uh, from launching the examination or something it will get caught during your system compatibility check only so you are fully ready for the actual examination so that is why it is very important to do so now it is very high time that we should discuss the exam pattern because it is very near the exams are very near so you should know that what you should be prepared for so guys for aptitude you will get 20 40 questions 40 minutes okay and these will be like easy level questions from technical mcqs there will be like 50 questions and you will be getting 15 minutes and this will be easy to moderate level okay coming to coding question this will be two coding questions and then 20 minutes to solve it and it will be easy only it will not be tough if you have pre prepared well it will be easy for you ऐसे क्वेश्चन देर विल बी वन ऐसे क्वेश्चन एंड ट्वेंटी मिनट्स यू विल बी गेटिंग एंड देन अगेन ऐसे विल ऑल्सो भी ईजी यू जिस टू राइट इट ऑन द गिवन टॉपिक गिवन टू यू नाउ टोटल टाइम फॉर द असेसमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी नाइनटी फाइव मिनट्स टाइमर इज सेक्शन वाइज एंड यू कॉन्ट रिटर्न टू द प्रीवियस सेक्शन ओके सो बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट एंड देन इन दैट वे ओनली अपियर फॉर इट एंड दिस देर विल बी नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो डोंट वरी अबाउट लिविंग एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मेक श्योर दैट यू अटेम्प्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन ओके and and guys i will highly recommend you that during the start of the assessment you will be given some instructions so make sure to read them because there might be some changes uh, so if there is any changes usually there are no changes in this examination or assessment but if there is any you will get more details about it in the instructions page itself now talking about the indicative cut off so aptitude you will be having like if you uh, the cut off will be around 65% so if you score more than that or around that then it will be good opportunity for you technical mcq cut off goes usually to 50% and then at least one or two coding problems fully you should do correct okay at least one you should be your goal if two also then it is well and good now coming to essay part uh, so grammar score you should uh, aim for more than 60% okay in grammar section so this was the cut off part now talking about some exam day essential that you need to have with you uh, so that it will be easy and it will be good for you so you should have your uh, email Uh, that is you know admit email but guys it is not needed printed okay previously when the assessment used to happen offline then it was needed but now uh, you should be ready with your 
just normal admit email okay which means like your email that you have got for the assessment you should have that and then you should have your government photo id sometimes it is needed but as such it will not be needed you need a quiet well lit room webcam will be on throughout the assessment so you should be prepared accordingly that you know uh, and usually there will not be any in person proctoring it will usually be ai proctoring but just that you have to take care that you don't move yourself too much and uh, everything should be fine a little bit of movement and all it's totally fine you should log in 15 minutes early and once the timer starts it cannot be paused okay what will happen once you give this assessment after that what are the next stages let's talk about that so you there will be another assessment once you qualify this one and the, that assessment will be called as swar assessment or communication assessment or voice assessment that will actually be very easy if you have prepared well and i already have uploaded a lot of videos on my channel related to swar assessment videos you will find in this playlist itself okay like this types of videos uh, where you will be getting the actual questions that you will be getting but this part will come once you qualify your first round which is currently your online assessment and uh, when you will be getting that usually after 3 to 7 days if you clear it you can get it and sometimes it can take more time also but it, let's see how it will be i will also be giving the updates on this also uh, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel then once you clear the swar assessment the next round is going to be your technical plus hr interview and this will last for like 15 to 30 minutes and once you clear your technical and hr interview you will be getting your letter of intent uh, and then your pre skill training will start and finally your offer letter and joining will be there from the company now before we wrap up the video some final tips for all of you guys practice typing the code and coding questions uh, it is very much important watch preparation videos from my channel as i told you there is a complete playlist you will find a lot of helpful questions keep your necessary things like you know your like if you need anything like water your calculator permit uh, permitted page whatever and any power backup ready okay so that just in case if you are like you know your electricity cuts off so your well, laptop is fully charged so keep take care of those basic things because we have seen that previously also student don't take care of those things and then they struggle later on now next thing is after the test monitor email spam folder also because uh, you will get invite for swar assessment after few days so make sure to check it and you will not have much time you will get the email for swar assessment like today then we maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow or within 2 3 days you will be having that assessment so keep on monitoring your emails regularly now guys i have tried to cover almost everything which was possible if you have any more doubts you can ask me in the comment section make sure to join me on uh, telegram channel and you can even follow me on instagram make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates going forward from my channel that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time